Hi, I'm coming to you from not live inside my closet. I'm listening to ambient warm summer forest sounds because it calms me into zen mode. Oh my god, that's a woodpecker. These are birds. Oh my god. These are like really loud birds. Okay, whatever. Um, one thing I wanted to make clear to myself is that I don't want to have to feel like I have to do something 365 days a year. That's what being an adult is all about. Adults don't have summertime. I have summertime. I'm a teenager. Do you know what I did this summer? I embroidered this t-shirt. That's why I'm wearing it right now. It's so cool. If you have any extra time, I highly suggest taking up a craft project. This took probably like five hours. It was probably the most awesome five hours I've ever spent pricking my finger with a needle. Yeah. I don't have to do anything I don't want to do. It's different than doing something you don't want to do in order to achieve something that you do. For example, I hate math. I have wanted to drop math completely since I was in fourth grade and I arrived at my school, which generously allows us to choose whether or not we take it in our senior year. Math is just one of those things that you do and you stick with even if you don't think you're going to need it in your desired profession. You get really severe math anxiety and cry every time you have to do a quadratic equation or a host of other things. The point is, I was really insecure in my decision for a little while because so many people were telling me that that's what I needed to do. And the thought of suffering, literal suffering, through an entire another year of math fills me with dread. So, I decided I'm not about that life and it's not gonna happen for me. When I think about the college process that is looming really scarily, my grades are good, my test scores are where I want them to be, my APs were <laughs> fine, I do extracurriculars, I can write a fine essay, but I'm not doing anything compared with any of my classmates. I didn't take math senior year. When I worry about that, I forget the whole reason I decided not to take it in the first place. My mental health. Ability to put more quality energy where it's more needed. Sparkles and sunshine. I'm not my classmates. I'm just me. I asked my brother for advice on this because he's in college. And he said, any college that doesn't want to take me just because I haven't taken that last year of stat or calculus, they can go jump off a cliff. <laughs> They don't get all this. Mm. <laughs> I'm okay with that now. Oh, what's all the fuss about? Well, the college process is supposed to be all about you. And if you go to a college with this sheet of all of these accomplishments that you didn't really care about, is that really your authentic you going out there? I'm reading this book by Jonathan Safran Foe right now. Uh, it's called Everything is Illuminated. I haven't finished it yet, but there's this one quote that really jumps out to me every time I read it. This part is about a girl who was rescued from a river in this small Jewish village, and she is a remarkable kid. She has this great capacity to love things, but she finds that most things in life continue to disappoint her. Nothing felt like anything more than what it actually was. Everything was just a thing, mired completely in its thingness. And she goes on to, instead of loving everything for what it is, she loves everything for her love of the thing. Her willingness to make it beautiful and fair, to live a once removed life in a world once removed from the one in which everyone else seemed to exist. That is really isolating. I think the best way to remove ourselves from the once removed life is to live in the one we're in, most honestly. And that's really hard. It just is. Anyway, uh, this is a note to myself not to worry so much, because I have a sneaking suspicion everything is gonna be fine. <sighs> Pouting his gum. 